All right, guys, so today I'll be showing you how to remove the FRP lock on the ZTZ Max Pro from Metro PCS. First things first, we're on the welcome screen. We'll go ahead and select our language. We can tap next. Let's go ahead and skip this, assuming you don't have active service on the device. Once that's skipped, it's going to bring your Wi Fi networks. Go ahead and choose one to connect to it. Once you connect it, it'll uh, pop that up. Go ahead and skip that. It'll check the connection. That could take a couple of minutes or so. And this is the Google account verification screen right here. So we can hit next. What we can do is go ahead and hit back. And let's go to back to the welcome screen. From here, we're going to turn on accessibility. The way you do that with two fingers, you hold it. You hold your two fingers on the screen until you hear the accessibility turn on. Go ahead and hold them on there. Continue touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. Accessib talk back on accessibility tutorial when explore by touch is turned so we're gonna go ahead on and you can hit touch exit. the screen to exit button tap once and double tap welcome so what we're going to do is make a, a hand gesture finger gesture on the screen by tapping it and that will escalate us further into the phone so what we're going to do is from the from this side over here from the right to the left and then up so like a backwards L almost so we're going to go like this Let's try it again Overview, application info. This comes up. We're going to go ahead and hold the volume down and the volume up, these two buttons, at the same time, and that will mute or turn off accessibility mode. So we go ahead and hold those two together. Alert, suspend, talk back. So we're going to hold, go ahead and suspend it. Let's okay, go ahead button. And, okay. Talk back, suspended. Don't do anything else. Go up here to the bar, to the Google search bar. Let's go to stock Android. So all you have to do is enter stock. What it does, this searches the phone, also the browser. So we're gonna go ahead and hit stock Android and that'll put us into the device. We can go ahead and accept that. You got it. So if you go ahead and reboot it, what it'll do is it'll bring you back to that uh, FRP lock screen again, which we don't want. We wanna go ahead and get rid of that. So we're going to go to the menu apps let's look for lookout which is right here click it let's get started and we're going to check all these boxes at neighbor security and go ahead and check that next and check the enable backup next again enable mobile threat network again last one and then we're going to go ahead and new user It'll ask us for this. Don't worry about that. Just go back. So we go to settings, and if we go to backup and reset, factor data reset, reset phone, it'll let you click it, but it doesn't do anything. So we're going to go back. Now we're going to search something on the browser. What we're going to do is go to Google. Go to search and now. Go to now cards. Show cards up here. Turn it on. No thanks. What we're going to do is go ahead and search for just Chrome. That'll put us into the browser. No thanks. Now we're going to download an APK. It's called Test DPC APK. So let's just put Test DPC. It's that very first one. Go ahead and click it. Let it load. We're going to scroll down. Where's the download APK? Click it. And 
and we'll get a few pop-ups just asking if we want to allow this to install in the system go ahead and update permissions allow okay down here let's go ahead and hit open don't check the box actually click on the on the app then we're gonna go to settings unknown sources click it on hit OK now we just go back click it again this time it'll install go ahead and install it accept is fine on that that'll install and go ahead and hit open now we right here we're gonna go ahead and click set up as device owner let's go ahead and set up set up one more time We'll hit OK. Let it do its thing. It's gonna put us back to the screen. Let's go ahead and just go all the way back to the back to the menu screen of the phone to the settings menu, which is right here. Now what we're gonna do is go over here and turn on developer mode. So what you do is, I'm sorry, you go over here, scroll down to about phone, build number. I think it's like six or seven times. You gotta click it pretty quick. You are now a developer. You'll see that. Hit back. Developer option. You turn on two things here. USB debugging. Okay. OEM unlocking. Enable. We're going to go back over here. Let's go back to here. Backup and reset. This time it should change. So factory data reset. Let's go to reset phone. Now it brings us to this, which we didn't see earlier. Go ahead and hit erase everything. That's doing a factory data reset. And it'll take a few minutes to come back on.